Abdel Tehran announced that he is going to be retiring from the Turkish national team. Uh, a really crazy sequence of events. So bear with me as I kind of try to explain what happened. So uh, basically, um, Tehran has played for Turkey numerous times. I think he's all time their fourth most capped player in history. So he's a veteran um, and he's probably used to being scrutinized in the media. Um, he's not exactly a fan favorite at Barcelona. In fact, I think he's looking to move elsewhere. So he's probably uh, frustrated uh, things that have maybe went on this season because he made that big move from Atletico and many people expected him to hit the heights. But regardless, um, he posted a lengthy statement on Instagram um, that was revolving around the issue from a Turkish journalist who had been uh, writing some negative articles about him. That quote from Alda Turan made his mother cry. Now, no one wants to make someone's mom cry, right? That's one thing that would probably <laughs> piss me off is if I see my mom cry because someone was writing some mean things about me. Um, but according to newspaper Hurriyet reports that Turan yelled at a, the journalist uh, Messi, not the Messi. Yeah, yeah, Messi, yeah, yeah. Messi, I'm probably <laughs> mispronouncing it. We should have had Hassan here to pronounce most of these, but, uh, and grabbed his throat before other Turkish players intervened. And at that point, Turan was told by the national team's coach to leave camp. Uh, and, but then Turan responded and called his own behavior honorable and esteemed. So, well, there's no better person to sum up his own behavior <laughs> than, than himself. Than himself. <laughs> uh, so he was kicked off the team's training camp, and then on the morning, uh, late, he was this morning, and later he announced his retirement shortly after. So, as far as you're, if you're looking at it from a Turkish football fan, you're probably pissed because you're not exactly bathing in uh, footballing talent in terms of who can uh, compete with some of the Europe's elite. Players now, Arda Turan's not had a great season, but he is a very talented player. I mean, you can't just disregard his many good seasons at Atletico Madrid and what he's able to do. He just it's pretty tough to try and break into Barcelona's uh, yes. attacking three yes. when you play one of the same roles as uh, Lionel Messi. Regardless, Jason, what do you make of the situation from what you take at this point? Uh, well, I just think. Oh, there's a couple takeaways. For one, I think it's pretty, you know, makes sense that Barcelona today, as of a couple hours ago, were like, no, no, we just reduced our price. <laughs> yeah, actually. We, we get that he just choked the journey. Actually, we'll pay you. Yeah. <laughs> well, to take us, I'll take them off your hands. Um, what do I take from this? I think that the dead spin comment made it the, the perfect way. Perfect. Now he can run for Congress. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you, can't, you can't choke a journalist. A journalist shouldn't be writing you know, making mothers cry around the world. But at the same time, this has always been a conversation we've had multiple of times when, in regards to how players can respond to the media. Some are great at handling the media. Some we also put on pedestals for the wrong reasons. Others we, we enjoy or we take down what they're after. But in this case, uh, I would need to read these reports and unfortunately they're in Turkish, so I really would need Hassan to start translating for me. Yeah. Um, as to what he said, because Look, there's different journalism laws in different countries. Uh, I don't know what they are in Turkey. I know for a fact that they are not nearly as lenient as, the, I'm sorry, as strict as they are here um, in terms of like slander and libel in ways that you can actually go back at written defamation or public defamation of one's character, or actually one's spoken defamation. Regardless, I would need to read it because yeah. for all, if, here's what we know. You said Tehran's a hothead. He yeah, has, he has his, his on-field and his off-field issues. Um, and some journalists are bad at their jobs. Absolutely. And that's a simple fact in today's day and age. Um, I need to see what he wrote. And if he wrote, well, you know, I don't know what he could have said. Yeah, but- And especially, by the way, in the climate, we had Hassan not too long ago speaking up to do this whole thing with Enos Kantar. Oh yeah. Who, the news out of that one is his dad's been arrested because of the because of Kantar's affiliation with Gulen. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Gulen, thank you. Gulen? Thank you, Edwin. Edwin uh, got it. But so my point being is, in Turkey, there's a it's a different landscape. So there's still more info to be known. Regardless, I know this for a fact. You can't choke a journalist. Yeah, you can't and, body slam one, and neither could you. Just can't body slam anybody nowadays. All right. You and can't, so can't to, do it. To give a little more a bit more context, I actually don't know the validity of the claims, but it was in regards to some articles that were written last year uh, over the Euros basically claiming that uh, Turkey's players were in a dispute with the Turkish uh, Football Federation over tournament bonuses. Um, and it kind of heightened scrutiny 
in regards to whether or not these uh, the Turkish national players were playing to their utmost or they were too busy involved in off the field mm -hmm. antics and it and it didn't help that they had back to back losses uh, against both uh, Czech Republic and then against Spain and I remember the players were booed at that point um, in regards to their performances so fans obviously are upset and what the what journalists do is they're supposed to uh, try and I identify an issue and bring it to light to the public and then I hold the players accountable most of the time. So whether or not some of the reports were written that were inaccurate in regards to whether the players did actually have a dispute with the Football Federation in Turkey over bonuses and that led to their lack of performance, there's a certain sense of nationalism that goes around playing for your country, right? Most players uh, talk about how they would play for free or whatever, like you've players in the past that have, would do anything for the national team. But of course, it is part of their job as well. So um, there's certain cloudy areas in regards to how players are paid when it comes to playing for the national team. But at that point, to come out and vocalize that the reason you're so pissed is because it made your mum cry, <laughs> I, I've just mentioned it there. Of course, when anyone's mum is upset because of the mistreatment of their son, it's gonna upset them. Like I could have literally punched a man in the middle of the street countless times and my mum would defend me because mums love their kids. So like whether Correct. or not you did something wrong, if your mum's crying because someone's holding you accountable, it's just what mums do. Like how many times when I first started coming on camera, the abuse was constant, it was creative, my mum, for a large period of time went on YouTube and was actually looking at me and I was like, mom, you need Your to stop that. Your mom knows how to read comments. Then. Yeah, because I was like, <laughs> you're gonna get yourself upset. So, but that doesn't mean I can go out and punch YouTube commenters and it doesn't mean I can go out and grab people by the throat or whatever. So he, let's just put it this way. If he's upset at this article, what I will say to him is if he moves to the Premier League, then God help the journalists in the Premier League because no media outlet scrutinizes players more so than the English football media. Look at Luis Suarez now, albeit yeah, Luis Suarez. Screen, you just can't make his mother cry and you won't yeah. get hooked on well, by a nice Well, let's left. hope she won't be reading any of the papers if he does move there because like, Luis Suarez didn't exactly make the best name for himself, like countless uh, racial he bit claims, a couple of people. he bit a couple of people, like this, it was definitely a, a cloudy character. But even when he wasn't doing anything, he was still being ridiculed nonstop uh, in the media, the same as a lot of players that come into the Premier League with big names attached to them or whatever. So uh, let's just say that the fair and just journalism that he's maybe looking for uh, won't be there in the Premier League because they're not exactly so well behaved and hands off either. So mm. uh, if he's treating it this way, I don't know what the, again, there could be some underarching theme about this and it's just completely untrue that they made him look despicable and everything else. But does it still merit choking a journalist out because it's, uh, as part of the, the job of being a professional footballer is how to handle yourself in the media. It's true. I like this headline from Yeni Safak English. Mm. Turkey's Ardo Turan quits football. I don't think that's true. He's done. <laughs> You'll never pick up a ball, you'll never kick a ball again in his life. Let us know what you think, obviously, in the comment section below. We'll wait and see how much more details come out of this situation. But at the moment, uh, Turkey is gonna be without one of their, or probably their, their best player, uh, let's be fair at this point. Um, let us know. Blah, 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 blah. This one, Francis, reports Turkey drops out of turn on for assaulting journalists, and it's a photo of LeBron James.